Boys and girls, today I'm going to teach you how to make a three-dimensional hot air balloon. Let's get started. You want to make sure that the circle is up at the top of your paper, and then you're going to choose three strips of paper. They can be all of the same color. You can make up a pattern, or you can just pick any random colors you choose. But you're going to begin with three. On your first strip, you want to fold the ends in so that you make a little foot. You don't have to fold very much, just a little bit. And you need to do this on both ends. You want to make sure that the feet are facing inwards if you were to fold it up to make a bridge. Next, take your glue and you're going to tickle his feet by adding some glue on the bottom. I'm going to attach this strip to my circle so that it's making a vertical line. I'm going to attach it to the top and bottom of the circle, making sure that the toes are touching the line of my shape. After I push and hold on his feet to make sure that he gets enough time for the glue to grab onto the papers, I'm going to pick another strip, fold the feet in inwards, and then I'm going to glue it so that it makes a horizontal line going from side to side across the widest part of the circle. Alright, let's continue. Pick up your third strip. You're going to fold it in to make the feet, add some glue to the bottom, and this time we're going to make a diagonal line. I have more space here in my circle, so I'm going to pick another strip, fold it to make the feet, add glue to the bottom, and then glue it so it makes a diagonal line going the other direction. Now you have some options here. You can either leave your balloon as is, or you have, if you have extra spaces, you can add more strips to fill in more of your balloon. So I have a space here between the blue and light green. So I could add a strip here, and I wanna make sure I find the blue and light green on the opposite side and go over and attach it. If you don't, have room, you don't have to add another strip to it, or if you can't fit your fingers inside to push down and get that glue, glue grab time, you don't have to add more stripes. You can add only as many more as you would like.
All right, I have finished creating my balloon and now I need to leave it alone to allow it some drying time. If any part of your strips pops up off your paper, just push it back down, hold on to its foot, and let that glue have some time to grab. But in the meantime, let's grab our Sharpies and start drawing. We're going to add the basket for our hot air balloon with a figure inside. The shape that we're going to use for our basket is called a trapezoid. We need to make sure that it is big enough to, so that it is in proportion with the balloon. So I'm going to use my hands to help me measure and make sure I make it big enough. I'm going to use four fingers and put it down at the bottom of my paper. Now a trapezoid has a short top and a long bottom, but we're going to flip it upside down so that the long part is on the top and the short line is on the bottom. So above my hand, I'm going to make a long line about the same width as my balloon. And then below it, I'm going to make a short line. I'm going to connect those with two diagonal lines. And there is an easy basket for your hot air balloon. Right now it's not connected, so we need to add some rope to our balloon. And now inside the basket, why don't you go ahead and draw yourself? We'll turn this into a self-portrait today. You can start with the letter U for your head, add your hair, eyes, nose, and mouth, and then a neck, shoulders, Maybe you're waving to the crowd below you. Or maybe you're hanging on to the basket for dear life because this scares you. Don't forget to add some clothes. You don't want to be naked in your hot air balloon. Now so far in our picture today, we've used many different elements of art. We've used color in the shape of our balloon here. We've added different lines going horizontal, vertical, and diagonal to help create the round form of our balloon. We've used shapes to create our basket. And now I'm going to show you how you can add texture to your basket to give it that great basket weave feel. So all you do, is draw three horizontal lines and then three vertical lines. Three horizontal and three vertical. Now if your hand is in the way, don't draw on top of your hand, but draw in the air until you get to the bottom. Horizontal, vertical. Horizontal, vertical. Horizontal, vertical horizontal. The second row, you're going to do the opposite. So if I started with horizontal, I'm going to start the second row with vertical. And I'll continue in this pattern until I have filled up the whole basket. To complete my picture, I could add some more items in the background like clouds, birds, a sun, or even another hot air balloon far off in the distance.
And there's your completed three-dimensional hot air balloon picture. Thanks for creating with me today, guys.